Samantha Bricio on the outside, Player of the Year candidate. Player of the Year candidate, two-time defending All-American. What she does is amazing. It's the best server in the country. We see the offense on the right side. We see the offense on the left side. Having great numbers across the board, improving on nearly every category this year in 2015. Already two-time tournament MVP for Bricio this year. All what they do here with the intro is something that not every school does. They have the videos, they have the music, they shut it down, Chicago Bulls style. <laughs> Theatrics off the charts. The budget here at USC is such a high level. Hey, you know, really indicative of the whole Pac-12 volleyball production level as well. The network, it starts with the network and goes to all these quality institutions as well. There's Samantha Bricio in her senior season. What a remarkable athlete she has been out of Guadalajara, Mexico. Yeah, but Coach Mick Haley also saying, hey, how she will go down in history, her legacy will be judged based on how well she does as a leader this year, captain of the team. Mentioned that she has been MVP already twice in this season. Seven times she's been tournament MVP in her already illustrious Trojan career. Dyer with the first serve. And Samantha Bricio with her first kill on the left-hand side. Yeah, you look at Bricio and you look at the size and athleticism. She's six foot two on the outside. But at the end of the day, she's very fast, and this quick offense really going to showcase that. Bailey Johnson, the freshman out of Dayton, Ohio. She will serve and set out of the back row. Bricio, boy, that was a fast set. Really get a feel for this new offense on that play. Yeah, a couple of great plays in the back there from Taylor Whittingham. Setting. Everyone's going to watch the kill at the end, but Whittingham getting in there. We talked to Mick Haley. Freshman out of Fort Lauderdale making an impact. Bricio not able to swing. Whittingham on lines this time. Bricio tips one down for a kill. You know, Bricio as she stares you down. Great camera work on seeing the angle of her approach. But uh, you look at Dykstra in the back, one of the best passers in the country, but it turns the pass into a dig. Ooh, close to the line was Bricio. And close to the line on the other side in a serve. Her ninth of the day. Really close to this back line. But you're going to see it's a hybrid serve. It's got a little bit of top spin, but not too much. So it's got a float and some trajectory. 20 aces on the season already for Bricio. Bricio in the back row. That's a next level swing. And we're seeing that start to go across the country, but very few that effective. She's hitting down on that ball from behind the line. Inside the early part of this match. Block for SC, that's Bricio. That was one of the areas that Mick Haley mentioned. That Samantha Bricio has really improved her blocking. Yeah, the one knock maybe on her throughout her career. She's a great defender, great passer, but the blocking's starting to get there as well. Bricio, but what a creative set. Instant offense, right? From anywhere on the court, one of the things that Mick Haley says he has to be very aware of is you, you don't want to go to the Golden Goose too many times. You don't want to cook the Golden Goose. And Samantha Bricio, one of the best in the country. Oh, I like it. Takes Bricio out. But only for so long. Love the decision. Strayler deciding to go to short. Takes Bricio out of the first attempt, but able to get that ball back and then in system, in tempo. So dangerous. Most of the offense, as it has been all season long, came from Samantha Bricio for USC in that first set victory. Bricio once again showing her offensive prowess, hitting 385. Six kills, only one mistake on the end line. Had the ace as well. Something that's really one of her signatures. The back row pick, though, something that we're really starting to see the emergence of her all around play. Bricio on the season, double the kills of the next closest player and double the aces at the beginning of this weekend. Now, more than triple the aces of the next closest players. We look at the stats through that first set. The scary thing is Pepperdine actually outserved USC. 
just those hitting errors at the bottom. That's four points right there, the spread in seven to three hitting errors. There is the two-time Pac-12 Offensive Player of the Week, and there have only been two so far early in this <laughs> season. That is five times she has collected that honor. She could well be on her way once again. Six kills in that first set. And, and the scary thing is they try to spread that award around, right? They try to uh, let you have a chance in another, but when Bricio puts up the number she has, hard to keep her away from that award. Conversely, sometimes you get those errors. Right there. Down the line and another ace. Wow. That's 10 for today. Uh, and look at that smirk, right? Look at that swagger as she goes back. This is a wicked serve. It's got that right to left English, but it's not a true spin. So hard to track. Runs with the cover. Riccio with the tip. The Bix totally changed the game. It used to be you'd get the star hitter in the back row. You could kind of breathe easily a little bit, but all of a sudden, just as effective. It's like the old X combo play in the middle. Four attackers against three blockers, a mismatch every time. Tough serve. Bricio leading in the left. I mean, it's definitely a um, confidence booster. I think it's, I don't know, I think we just came out and just like play without like worrying about anything. It's just really nice because now that we're like 6 and 0, oh, I don't know, it's just, like I said, a confidence booster. I couldn't have done that without my team, obviously. I need good passers in order for uh, the setter to set me in order for me to get a kill. So I think it's just like a general like effort. It's not just me. In the second semester, early January and graduating early from high school. Now, do you like that process? That's something that USC has used. They have had spring admission. Bailey Johnson has been here since the middle of last year. Do you like that for the athlete? I don't mind it. I don't mind it. If, if an athlete is mature enough to handle the collegiate experience at that age, I think uh, there's so much things they can learn. Victoria Garrick with an incredible run in the middle of this rally. And Bricio smartly finishing it. But play of the rally going to Garrick, the freshman out of Atherton. What a run into the corner. One, one, set three. SC looking for the sweep. They've won 22 straight sets. Off speed again. And the signs of the maturity of Brucio. You talk about last year, the last two years, her ace numbers very similar, 85 two years ago, 84 last year. The difference of not making it is as many mistakes, making better decisions. Mauricio, another tip. This one doesn't find the ground, but it's played out of bounds by Estrello. The result is the same. Mauricio, 11 kills. And three for her last three. They pop it up in the center of the court and just go for zero passes. All right, so that's what you're trying to do physically. How do you approach it mentally when you know that bullet's coming your way? <laughs> Try not to shoot. <laughs> There's one out of the six shooter right away for Bricio. Another ace. And look at all the side to side motion. All of a sudden, you've got people diving in front of each other. You're not really certain about whose ball it is. Not just the speed, not just the motion, it's also the location as well. Bricio has an unusual toss. What about that jump float toss? Love it. Spinner on top. More control. Another race back to back for Bricio. If there was a server of the year award, <laughs> she would be the two time reigning champion. Putting on a show, the senior powering her team in set three. SC in command. She has a segment called Ask Nick. You just ask him anything. He can tell you why there were ties. He can tell you about the AAU days. He can tell you about his Samantha Bricio, the best ever out of the pipe. His phone's blowing up, too. He's getting taxed in-game. He's relaxed. Yeah, different kind of year, right? 2015, a new year. New swagger for Mick Haley. Yeah. 
Pepperdine trying to play it over. Tough one off the net. Smart swing from Ford. Here comes Bricio. Working off the edges. And, and that's the difference maker, right? All of a sudden you see these rallies that go back and forth and it's a pretty equal match. But what Pepperdine doesn't have is a senior, someone who can hit from 15 feet off the net with that kind of devastation. That particular senior who has 13 kills hits 370. The last eight NCAA championships. Like cigars. Pretty funny if you ever get a chance to talk to him. Oh, headshot delivered by Mauricio. Whittingham just chucking it up on top of the net. And Mauricio with another beautiful swing. If you're a young player out there looking to learn how to attack the ball, you should watch a lot of number two. Look at the big cross-court approach, inside out, Karchi angle style. Mauricio <laughs> overpass and an Ogum's kill. Efficient offense from the women of Troy. Mauricio once again. Talk a lot about the aces. We can talk about the overpasses and the free balls she generates. Because there's so much focus on that right there. Another ace for Mauricio. <laughs> wow. I don't think you or I want to get in the way of that one. A part of me wants to, right? It's like you want to step into that batting cage on the 100-mile the fastball. We just talked to Samantha Bricio about her serving and how she approaches it. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I look at my coach uh, because he's, he's telling me where to serve. So once I, I get that, I just, I don't know. I just look at the player and in my mind it's always like, I'm going to ace you, so be ready. You better not move because if you move, I'm just going to ace you. That's... <laughs> That's the thing that comes to my mind. <laughs> Full-time assistant job. Yeah. Bricio is a career mid-200s hitter. 240, 250 or sophomore year, up to 280 last year. And she's hitting so much higher this year, nearly 100 points higher, all because of that fast offense. Match point. Whittingham at the line. Fitting ending. Samantha Bricio puts on another offensive show, and her team is victorious. 17 kills, 394, but more importantly, three sets to none for USC.